Hello YouTube, it's Charles Redneck Nerd coming at you with another knife review. This time over my Devil's Edge Frontiersman Bowie. Now that is 11 inches of 420 steel. Well, 11 and 1 8 inches. With a handle length of 5 and a quarter inches. We've got a brass guard shaped eh, kind of like a crocodile's tooth, if you will, or a gator's tooth. Brass end cap where the tang has been pinned. Buffalo wood here and here, or buffalo horn rather here and here. We have brass spacers with stacked leather washers. Technically, I got a blemished one because right here, you might be able to see it's kind of still got a little bit of an edge there. Now, if you're holding it right-handed, you really don't notice it. If you hold it left-handed, you really don't notice it. The only other thing was a slight marring where it looks like the edge is rounded off rather than being a sharp spine right here. All told, this cost $58.99 blemish from Cult of Athena. The unblemished model sells for $66.95. The blade does have a saber grind. It has a fuller on each side. The overall length is 16 and 3 8 The blade thickness is 3 16 of an inch. It is, of course, a clip point. The HRC on this will be 55 to 58. And like I said, basically, this is a more inexpensive copy of Crocodile Dundee's knife from the movie, well, three movies, actually, of the same name. And anybody who was a knife fan in the 80s Saw that when he pulled it out and told that mugger, I smell a knife. This is a knife. And sliced up his Michael Jackson style jacket really quickly with it. Said, okay, that's a cool knife. Now this knife does weigh 27 ounces overall. It does come with a leather sheath. This leather sheath I would call adequate. The leather is actually fairly thin. It's, it does hold it in place, but it is very, very flexible and lightweight. The one that comes with the actual Outback buoy by Down Under Knives, which this is kind of a poor man's copy of, I would call it, is a much nicer sheath. This one's clip point does not come up quite as dramatically. It also has a longer swedge. It's also thinner and instead of being made of 440 C steel it's made out of 420. Now the overall cutting edge is right around 10 inches on this 11 and 1 8 inch blade. You can choke up fairly comfortably, and I have used this, not real heavily yet, but I have used this lightly to take down some small branches and limbs off of trees, then delimb those to get them into either the recycling or into the store for my kindling, storage area for my kindling for my fireplace and fire pit. It does a really good job. It came with a decent edge, not a great edge. Now I have sharpened this one. And since this is the paper that's available, we'll use it. Just this piece of printer paper. And you can see it actually does a really good job of cutting the printer paper up. All in all, I like this knife. 
it's a good knife. It seems solidly built. And for the price, I think they're up to like, like I said, $66.95 at the time I bought it, which was back in May of this year. I believe they're up to like $74, $78 now, and I believe they're out. But comparable buoys by Devil's Age are selling for in that price range, $74 to $80. That is the highest grade. If they have a blemish grade, which is a grade lower, where it's just slight visual imperfections like this little square area instead of it being round. Actually, it's on this side. The square area right here on the buffalo horn instead of it being round. And it's got a little bit more of a drop on one side of this horn than on the other side. Not perfectly done, in other words. They sell it as blemished. It'll normally be anywhere from 5 to $10 less. They also have what's called a munitions grade, and those will have actual imperfections that may be uncomfortable to use, that really feel bad, or they might even be un beyond uncomfortable. They could hurt you. Screws sticking up too far, pins sticking up too far, that sort of thing. And those will probably be any about $20 off the regular price from what I've seen. Cultipathena is good. Mine, when I actually was trying to buy it back last fall, was out of stock and it showed in stock. So I went ahead and placed the order, waited for the knife to show up, and it didn't show up for several weeks. Contacted them. They offered me another knife for the same price. You know, my choice of a knife of comparable price. And I said, no, I'd wait on this one because I've waited on this one for, you know, 30 years. And when I finally found one that looked good and had good reviews, I wasn't going to let this one pass me by. Now, to the shout outs. This is always a fun time. Of course, we're going to go with Scab from Choir Boys Cutlery. And as usual, Little Squatch still has his eyes on Scab. He's not a mugger. He's not going to grab your money at the ATM. So check out Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. Watch him every day. Great channel. Great videos. Joe, Steel Forged in Fire. Sword and Knife, the best cinematographer as far as I'm concerned, on YouTube. He does awesome videos. They are artistic, but they're also informative on the knives and swords he shows. Then we have my buddy Gruggs at Legion Tactical Cutlery. Greg's has been getting with it lately. He has upped his game. Trust me, you're going to want to see his videos and his reviews. Today we're going to shout out another channel I like to watch a lot. Freedom Frog Gear. He goes by Frog Frog, but I'll call him Frogman probably here and anytime you see me commenting on his videos. Frogman's a good dude. He gives good information, gives good reviews. Check his channel out. So, in summation, if you're looking for a Crocodile Dundee style knife, I would say go to Cult of Athena and check it out. The Devil's Edge is kind of their store brand. And the ones I've seen are all really well done. This is the Charles Jones the Redneck Nerd saying... Until next time, Little Squatch agrees. Come on back. Hit like and subscribe before you leave. Y'all take care. Have a good weekend now. Yeah, that's it. Have a good weekend, y'all.